Now, Mr. Smith, it's a pleasure to see you again in my fair shop, Anderton's Music Company. And Lovely to see you too, Mr. Yes. Anderton. <laughs> what may we do for you today? I'm in the market for a ukulele. A ukulele? A ukulele. A ukulele. For my sins. Um, in all seriousness, you actually are I in the market for am. a ukulele. And pray, why is that? Well, I've managed to avoid getting a ukulele. I say that, so that sounds very mean to ukuleles. I haven't had a ukulele up till now, but I do, I teach a bit, um, both online and in a couple of schools. And one of the schools that I teach at has asked me to run a ukulele group. And I'm very glad too, because um, my eldest daughter started school four years ago and yep. they didn't have a ukulele club there. They had... Um, violin club uh, which uh, I don't know if you've ever been uh, trapped in a room of uh, kids learning to play violin but uh, it's one of the oldest fashioned uh, forms of torture in fact under the yeah. Geneva Convention it's actually banned um, you have to be really but, quite good at uh, the yes. violin to play in so I, I, uh, I and I don't know if it was terribly well um, attended this club but I mm. said to my uh, daughter's school I said please start a ukulele club because I think you'll be surprised how many of the, the kids mm. enjoy it and you can buy you know start a ukuleles for a school for you know 30 quid a pop yeah. or something like that so the school bless them um, did buy some ukuleles for uh, the, their club and it's the most oversubscribed club that the school has now well, so fingers you know, crossed there that, you are yeah so it's a great instrument for and kids love it and it's a great kind of uh, it's a gateway kind of a to the gateway. guitar. <laughs> I mean, ukulele players will kill us for saying that because, of course, there are professional ukulele players and there are incredibly expensive ukuleles. Absolutely, and it's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful instrument played well. Uh, but yes, I think probably its popularity is largely seen as a bit of a gateway into, you know, they're nice and small, so yep. really young kids can <clears> play them. Mm -hmm. um, they've got four strings, so a little bit maybe simpler than a six-string yeah. guitar. And... Uh, you can actually get an okay ukulele for about 20 to 25 yeah. pounds. Yeah, um, certainly a starter one, you know. I think as with all <clears throat> affordable instruments, if you buy your instrument from a music store rather than from a toy shop or a grocery store or whatever, <laughs> you know, you're hopefully some sort of guarantee that what you're getting is okay. But I know we do a, an amazing couple of instruments by a, a brand called Mahalo. Mm. Um, I think... <clears throat> The ones my daughter's school bought were about forty pounds each, thirty or forty pounds each, and yeah. they, they were um, like the next one up from the very basic one. But even the basic one's good. Anyway, look, we digress. Right. So, what what, <clears throat> what is this selection of uh, ukuleles that we have here today, Mr. Smith? Well, I had a look at the website, and I went through and I chose a selection between kind of a hundred and around three hundred pounds. Yeah. Uh, because it's something that I want to, you know, I'm probably not going to be playing an awful lot of ukulele, but when I do play ukulele, I'd like to play. A, you know, a nice one that sounds nice yep. and it's fun to play. A so 100 to 300, we're sort of going, we've we've avoided really entry level, yeah. but we're, we're not going into professional level. We're just going, no. should be a good quality mid-price uke for that yeah, kind of I'll, dough. It's something I want to use for a bit of teaching, potentially to do a little bit of recording if, you know, I... I do, you know, recording sessions on all sorts of different stringed instruments. So if someone wants me to do ukulele, I can do it on that. And, and yeah. I notice you've picked <clears throat> out um, five of the six have got uh, to plug in. And the, and the one that doesn't have it does come in a model that yeah. has got to pick up. So you probably would buy that. Is that uh, due to the fact that there's a high demand for George Formby tribute acts in your neck of the woods? Or, well, you know, might you be gigging this? We're going to find out. We're going to find um, out. Yeah. Um, no, I mean... It, 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 a lot of them, I didn't go specific, you know, specifically for the electro ones, but it just so happened that the ones I like the look look of in the kind of price range I was at had pickups, well, and that can't be a, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. Let's do this. So in what order are we going to, to strum? And I guess the first thing, right, let's just do a round through and sure. maybe go, yeah, I like the sound of that one the best, yeah. you know, but let's... Well, this is this is the, the kind of, at, at the lower end, this is £99 for the Cordoba uh, 15 CM. Okay, so the 15CME yeah. would be the electro acoustic version. Yeah. I think that's another £20 on top. But okay, so let's have a little listen to this. Well, have a listen. I am not really a ukulele player, so I need to learn to play the ukulele before I start teaching it. But um, That sounds great. It's quite loud, isn't it's, it? 
Surprisingly um, loud, yeah. So this is uh, all the ukes that we've got today are what are called concert size. Yes. So they're not the really small ones, which is soprano, and they're not the bigger ones, which are the tenor ones. They yeah. tune the same as a soprano. Uh, and actually, all of the guitars here, we've got our solid wood top guitar. So that's a solid mahogany yep. top. Probably not a traditional uh, Hawaiian I wood. I thought so. Um, but, but who knows? I mean, uh, maybe. Yeah. Um, and that's by the brand Cordoba, yes. which is a hugely popular manufacturer of um, nylon string Spanish yeah. guitars. So you yeah. can see why they would do the uke thing. Okay, so um, what's the next one? What, you know, what, you, you like, I mean, I like it. to I mean, reference it, yeah, I, but yeah, it I did, sound good. Yeah, I went for concert size because they're slightly larger and, you know, I've played some sopranos in the past and had a bit, you know, they're just a bit fiddly. I for agree. My, sopranos, I would go just young kids, you know, it's yeah. like they are tiny, aren't they? They sopranos. are tiny and I've got, you know, not... Massive hands, but too big for that. But yeah, so I mean, yes. to me that sounds nice. I've, you know, not a huge. Should I hold that for you? Do you want to hold that one? Yes. Sure. So I guess if we go for what's the next one up? The next wise? one up in terms of price would be the Alvarez seventy. Is that that one? I think it's this one actually, the seventy. No, it's the middle one. The middle one. This is the ninety. Okay, cool. So yes, this is the AU seventy WCCE. So same Alvarez. size, but now with a cutaway and a pickup. Yeah. And this one is, he says, looking at it, this is a solid Sitka spruce top. So a, a yeah. very, almost like the same kind of wood that you would get on a regular acoustic guitar, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's spruce. And then is it a mahogany back and side? Walnut. Walnut back and side. So, yes. Which is a you know, popular choice in guitars as well. Yeah. It has the Alvarez pickup system, which has got a tuner and volume, bass, middle and treble control. Let's see what it sounds like, shall we? louder but not as bassy i was me. gonna say it's i prefer that one yeah acoustically so far so there we go i mean <laughs> it was super fast that was super fast cool all is right well it? look uh the next one up is another uh, oh no it's the it's the lacquer isn't it the now? lacquer 95. lacquer hawaiian for gentle oh is that what it means yes the uh, 95 95 is which this is one? this one okay uh, which is the flame maple one so this is uh, pretty looking because it's flame maple, yep. but it's all laminate woods, that one. So sort of in terms of tone woods, it's maybe the least desirable one on paper. Maybe. Who yep. knows what that means in reality, though? It's got, um, it does have a pickup with a tuner, a, a tone and volume knob. So it's not quite as extensive as the uh, the last one. But let's see how it sounds, shall we? An enormous <laughs> stretch there as well, some sort of 10 fret stretch. That's it. Could be um, like nearly an octave. I thought, I still think the first one sounds best. I do as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It plays no, fine. No, it's fine, isn't it? But it's, yeah. Okie dokie. Well, look, then, um, so that was the lacquer. Is that the 70? Uh, the 95, which is a bit weird. It seems, it seems on the lacquer stuff, the model number doesn't seem to dictate yeah. how expensive it should be. But uh, So the next, next one up is... The, I think is we've got another Alvarez one, haven't which we? Is, which is the one I've already I got. like that. I think that looks very pretty, that it one. It does look um, right. So this that, is... Yeah. That, I believe... Uh, so this is acacia wood, which yeah. I must admit, I think has got visually that slightly sort of koa uh, look to it, mm. which, which is the traditional Hawaiian yeah. uke wood. Here's a trivia fact for you. Go for it. What do, you, what do you think the most famous use of acacia wood is in, you know, the history of mankind? I don't know. Well, uh, is, is it some, some kind of weapon, probably, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Legend had it, that's what Noah's Ark was made from. Wow. So there you are. There you go. Boat building and ukuleles. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. It's a very hard wood. I think more, more recently, probably more used to being used as a hardwood flooring than a boat uh, to <laughs> yeah. put uh, animals two by two on. Um, but yes, I, I, why not? I think it looks, I mean, that said, I think it looks cool. Let's have a, let's have a yeah. listen. All right, let's do it. So. I think you need to learn some uke licks. I do, As opposed I do. to playing all your normal steel string licks. Um, but yeah, that's nice. Can we just do a quick AB? Because yes. I don't know if I've just, I don't know if this has now jumped into number one spot or if it's still the Cordoba. Let me do the same thing on both. Yeah. Do. All 
right. It's still it's the Cordoba. The, it's still the Cordoba. Wow. But yeah, it's louder. It's quite considerably louder than the rest, which is really surprising. It is weird, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, is this going to be some weird video where we, we go all the way up to 300 pounds, but still end up like in the 99 pound one? I mean, maybe. Why not? There's but nothing wrong with that. No, it's, I mean, it sounds great, actually. Okay. Uh, Next one, I think so is, we have two more. <clears throat> I think it's this one, which is the uh, VUC ATEA. Okay. By Lacquer. So this does have a Koa back and sides. Yeah, with a so, solid spruce uh, top. But yeah, but with a spruce top. So it'll mm. uh, be interesting to see how that sounds. But um, yes. And this one has, this one does have a Fishman pickup in it. Oh, so we're going properly sort of, we're almost bordering into sort of like semi-professionally kind of level around here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, well, I mean, this, right. one, this one is, what, 299. So mm. it's, you know, it's a fair step up from the last one. Yeah. as well that one isn't it i mean I, it is I, I kind of feel like it sounded very similar to the the previous alvarez model but still just this one just is loud isn't it it's yeah like even just you strumming it like that it's it weird just, it's got a lot more projection i think than okay but so yeah on to the last one so this is the this is the only one that we have out of our selection now which is an all koa uh, guitar now koa yeah. is a is an indigenous wood to hawaii uh, and it is what all the kind of, you know, the really famous top of the top of the range kind of ukes are made from. Yeah. Uh, and the interesting fact about koa, it is considered a sin uh, in Hawaii to cut down a living koa tree. Wow. Uh, and I believe it's often uh, illegal as well as immoral. Mm. Um, and I certainly know. So what tends to happen is you wait for one to blow over in a storm. Right. And particularly, you know, they, they worth. I've heard stories of brands like Taylor. Spent, mm. you know, paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for wow. a single koa tree, and also really interesting stuff about when it when it when it's growing on a boundary uh, line between sort of two people's fields. Both of them go, please, wind, blow it my way or the other way, because then it's basically it's yours right. if it falls in your to give it land. A nudge. Yeah, I mean that's you know you can imagine. Imagine if you had a tree <clears> worth like a hundred thousand dollars in your back garden. It's like definitely blew over in a storm, Gov. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, we haven't had a storm for. Six months. Wow, it was pretty blowy <laughs> last night. Storm you know? Marwin <laughs> to get out. <laughs> so no, I, I would hope that all the Koa stuff genuinely is, you know, just from yeah. trees that have fallen over by accident. Uh, but let's have a little listen to this, that. It's very pretty looking. Isn't it's very it? pretty. It's, got, it's very light actually. I don't know if that's a. Now, before you make your decision, and I, and, I, and I, we'll obviously go back to trying this ninety-nine pound one again. Yeah, you're playing with a felt pick, right? Or are you playing with your normal I, pick? I'm playing with a with a with a hard. Um, resin okay, pick. sorry, you're playing with a hard. Right. So the the sort of very traditional, right. um, at least. And I, you know, I don't want to come across. I am not a ukulele expert either, but I believe it's sort of more traditional to play with a softer felt pick than it is with a traditional guitar pick like a plastic guitar pick but you so you did that whole demo with the that was all with, with the hard one yeah because okay. I, pre I prefer it but let's, yeah. let's have a little listen so this is with a, this is with a Mahalo felt pick very mm -hmm. thick and so here we go Uh, and let's just try this All one right. again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's not bigger, is it? Um, is it marginally bigger? It or is, is that bigger. Just it's it is. deeper, isn't it? Because I'm keep coming back to this going, why is that 
a Cordoba one consistently uh, louder than the other ones. And it is, it's, it's very slightly bigger, isn't it's, it? It's wider, it's, it's a little bit bigger in every dimension. I think. Yeah, so I think it's probably not a mahogany thing as such. I suspect it probably is just that Cordoba have opted to use a very slightly larger size. Nothing wrong with that. Um, no, I mean, it's, you know. But what it, you know, because I, I kind of, and, and I suppose ultimately, just because something's louder sounding doesn't make it better. No. Uh, but I, I, I feel like you're sort of gravitating towards that one just because it is that slightly bigger sound. I mean, it does, yeah. It, and most of the time I'm gonna be playing it you know, not plugged in. Although, mm. if it's only twenty quid for the extra, you know, for the pickup version, I might, I might be very. Yeah, tempted it doesn't to try give that. you the cutaway. <clears throat> the extra twenty pound is just a fitted pickup, so there's no That's cutaway right. or anything like that. I think by the time you get um, up past the fourteenth fret, it's all a bit small anyway for me. So. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so interesting, um, and well, there's not much else to really say. What, what did, what did you guys think? Yeah. Um, Hopefully that's that's helped and, and, you know, maybe you'll be thinking to yourself, OK, I particularly liked the sound or the look of one of these other ones. There's no right or wrong here at the end of the day. No. If you like if you like the sound of something more than another thing, then that's the right one for you. Um, I thought the I must admit, I think given that that is still half the price of that, oh, I think gosh. is that half the price. I'm just looking. Yes, it yeah, pretty it much is, is half about. the price. I rather liked this Alvarez uh, CCE ninety, <laughs> the ninety CCE. That was my um, second. That was my second favourite. I have but, to say for after yeah, this. it's it's. I'm I'm kind of glad that we sort of identified. I couldn't I couldn't work out why that one was still sounding. I mean, compare it to that lacquer. It's it's almost an inch deeper. It is. There's yeah. There's a considerable. Let's Wait, see, hold it out to the camera. Let's see if that's. There's quite a big difference there, which I explains. If, I wonder if the Cordoba is being a bit naughty in the sense of is that not a true. Well, I think uh, concert uke. I think concert just means bigger, but still tuned to the same tuning as soprano, just so that it, mm. so that you can use it and it's louder. So. Well, there you are. So, would you like me to wrap that up for you, sir? Uh, it's thank I'll wear it now. It's fine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, well, there you are. So, um, look, that's been sorted out with the uke. All right. Happy uh, Christmas. And please do, if you're you know watching this, and maybe you're, I don't know on your part of your uh, parents association for your school or you perhaps teach in a school as well please do encourage um schools this we're talking about prep schools at the moment aren't we? yeah if, yeah i don't schools. know what what does that translate to in 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 american words but you know ki kids, kids who are under say uh, 11 12 years old you know the, the yeah. school you go to first um i think it's a brilliant brilliant use of of uh, you know, if, I know all music departments are on relatively limited budgets, but if you can buy 20 ukuleles for 500 quid, yeah. you know, you've got 20 kids then coming to your lunchtime, you, you know, that's what my daughter's school is, yeah. like a lunchtime club, that's, and they yeah, come along and they bang so. into it, and then we all go along at the end of every term and they do their little ukulele concert, and yeah. they love it. But anyway, what can I say? Thank you very much, Ben, for coming in. Not at all, um, always a pleasure. I enjoy your ukulele. I Thank look you. forward to hearing your new ukulele solo um, prog uh, ukulele ukulele Christmas album next year. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? All right. See you guys. See you soon. Bye.